this lecture is the second part or part b of finite difference method of solving boundary value problem okay in the previous lecture we discuss the derivation of finite difference method and this is the algorithm of the finite difference method we already write there and here we solve a particular example the equation is given by y double dash plus y plus 1 this is equal to 0 with the given boundary condition y of 0 is this is equal to 0 and y of 1 this is equal to 0 also by using the finite difference method okay to proper understanding okay now we first see that here in this problem here no mention the value of the step length so we can take any value of h to divide the given interval okay we first write or see the given interval the interval is given by clearly this is x0 x0 this means 0 and this is xn this means we write this is sorry this is 1 okay so our interval is 0 to 1 okay now if we divide this interval into two sub interval okay so we take a middle point this is half and here we take n this is equal to 2 that is two sub interval so here n h this is equal to given by 1 minus 0 this is b minus a so we get h this is equal to 1 by 2 this is 0 0.5 okay now by using the algorithm of finite difference method we compare first the given equation with the general equation of second degree and we write here by comparing with the general equation of second degree we write f i this is equal to 0 because here is no term containing y dash g i g i this is equal to 1 okay here g x we write it as g i here and here r r this is equal to minus 1 because 1 is given in the left side here r of x is in the right side okay and we take h this is equal to 0 0.5 now putting the value of all this value here we write ri in the algorithm we get this is 1 minus this is given by h by 2 so we write this is 1 by 4 because this is half into half into f5 f5 means 0 right this is 0 into y i minus 1 plus g i this is 1 into h square h square means 1 by 4 this is half square minus 2 into y i plus 1 plus this is also 1 by 4 into f i f i means again we put 0 here and this is y i plus 1 this is equal to r i r i means minus 1 into 1 by 4 okay so we get the relation y i minus 1 minus this is minus 7 by 4 because 1 minus 8 by 4 this is minus 7 by 4 into y i plus this is y i plus 1 y i plus 1 this is equal to minus 1 by 4 this is the algorithm for this equation or this given differential equation now here we put two given value initial value this is y 0 this is given by y 0 this is 0 and y 1 this is given by sorry this is not y1 we take this is the final value so we take this is y2 this is equal to 0 and here the approximation of another approximation of y this is y1 we have to find the approximation of y this is y1 now to put y0 y2 and find y1 
here we put here we put i this is equal to zero sorry i this is equal to one okay and in the algorithm we write here this is one two two n this is not n this is n minus one right now this i equal to one gives from this relation y zero minus seven by four into y one plus y two this is minus one by four now putting the value of y zero and y two which are both zero and zero so we get zero minus seven by four into y one plus zero this is equal to minus one by four so we get y one this is one by seven right then four four cancel out and this is one by seven and this gives the approximation of y that is y one for from the given differential equation by using finite difference method or we can write this is the value of y 0.5 this is equal to 1 by 7 because here given y of 0 this is equal to 0 and y of y of 2 this means y of 1 this is equal to 0 okay but i suggest that if h is not given then we take at least four sub interval of the interval okay if we take two sub interval then error is much more than we take more than two sub interval okay and i says to you if h is not given so we here take at least four sub interval and to take four sub interval here that is we must take n equal to 4 That is n h. This is also equal to one minus zero, so one, and this is h equal to one by four. So this is zero h equal to zero point h. This is equal to zero point two pi. Okay, and then this this algorithm is different from different from the previous, and the new algorithm we write again here. This this three value are same, but We put only h. This is equal to zero point two five in place of zero point five. That is, we put one by four, and we get the result as the first is same because f i equal to zero. And if we put h equal to one by four, then one by h into zero. This means one. So we get from here. We write the algorithm is y i minus one plus the second term is. G I into H square, okay. G I means one into H square. H square means one by sixteen. So one by sixteen minus this is two, obviously two into this is Y I, okay. And the last one is plus. This is also same because if I equal to zero, so if we put H equal to one by four, this is not depend on this value. So we write here y i plus one. This is equal to r i. R i means minus one, and h square means one by sixteen. So minus one by sixteen. Okay, and we calculate this algorithm again in simplified form. We write y i minus one minus this is thirty one by sixteen into y i plus. Y i plus one. This is minus one by sixteen, and this relation gives sixteen y i minus one minus thirty one y i plus sixteen y i plus one. This is equal to minus one. Okay, and we name this relation as relation number a, and this is our new algorithm where we take four sub interval. Okay. Now here we have to find this is y zero, this is y one, this is y two, this is y three, and this is y four. And here y one means y of zero point two pi. Y two this means y of zero point five zero, and y three this means y of zero point zero point seven five, and obviously y four this is y of one. Okay, now 
to find three value y1, y2, y3. We put here respectively i this is equal to, this is equal to 1, 2, 3. We get three simultaneous equation from here. We write one by one. By putting i equal to 1, we get this is 16y0 minus 31y1 plus 16y2. This is equal to minus 1. Okay, this is the first relation, and also from here we get another relation by putting the value of y0. This is the initial value of y0, it is given. So we put y0, this means 0 here. So we get the reduced equation this is minus 31 into y1 plus 16 into y2, this is equal to minus 1. Okay, and from this we get this is 31 y1 minus 16 y2 this is equal to 1. We give a box to indicate the first equation. Now put i equal to 2 to get the second equation. The second equation is given by 16 y1 minus 31 y2 plus 16 y3 this is equal to minus 1. Okay, here y1, y2, y3, three of them are not known to us. Okay, so this is another one or second simultaneous equation. And put i equal to 3, we get from here, this is 16 y2 minus 31 y3 and this is given by 16 y2 this is minus 1 right putting i equal to 3 now here we put the final value y4 we already said that y4 is this y4 is given by y of 1 this is equal to 0 also so we get from here this is 16 y2 minus 13 sorry this is not 13 this is 31 31 y3 this is equal to minus 1 okay and we give a box to indicate the third simultaneous equation okay now our work is we have to solve these three simultaneous equation to find the value of y1 y2 and y3 to get the approximation of y or to get three value of y this is y of 0 0.25 y of 0 0.50 and y of 0 0.75 now we write three equations together. Now here we write these three simultaneous equations together. Okay. And if we write these three simultaneous equation in matrix form, then it is clear that this matrix or this matrix is of tridiagonal system. Okay. Because this and this are non-zero and upper triangle and lower triangle is zero. Right, and we easily solve this type of system. And if we solve this type of system, or if we solve this system, and we directly write here the value of y2, okay, we directly write the value of y2. This is given by y of 0 0.5 because y1 is 0 0.25, y2 is 0 0.50, and this gives the value that. 63 by 449 okay and we already find the value of y point sorry y of 0 0.5 when we take the value of h this is equal to 0 0.5 we get and here already write y of 0 0.5 this is equal to 1 by 7 so we find the value of y of 0 0.50 or y of 0 0.5 in two cases and if we find the error term of this method or finite difference method then we see that the error in this case is more much than this case okay so we get more appropriate or exact result than the first case so it is clear that if we take the number of interval is more then we get more appropriate result okay and similarly we 
find the value of y1, y2, y3, all the value of y1, y2, y3 by solving this triangular system. Okay, and this is the total method we discuss in two plus part A and part B of finite difference method of solving boundary value problem. Okay, thank you, thank you for watching.